Oh my, what is this what we have here? Well, this is the AKS-74U crank off and I've owned this for many, many years. I'm talking about, huh, it was one of my first really badass uh, SBRs. Matter of fact, this was the second SBR that I ever had bought when I first got into the NFA game. Um, this used to be my 5.45 lead slinger. It was a dedicated 7N6 gobbler. And this, uh, basically, I've went through three different barrels over the course of its lifetime. I've went through numerous flash hiders. I used to bump fire. This used to be a bump fire, shoulder fire, semi-automatic lead slinger. And I could bump out rounds faster than select fire, actual dedicated select fire guns could. And there's a reason for that. Um, I te technically, you can shoot a semi-auto gun faster than a full auto gun because there's no limiting uh, disconnector. That's a whole nother, you know, bullshit. Anyways, this is semi-automatic SBR, of course. Um, like I said, I've shot it for many years. Um, I had a video, I think I put up back in 2010 or 9, or even earlier than that, where I had six crates of 5.45 by 39 that I got from AIM Surplus, and each wooden crate had two bricks of 1,080 rounds of 5.45 7-in-6 ammunition. And within probably about three months, I gobbled this gun, gobbled through all that ammunition. Okay, I've shot the, I feel most comfortable with this gun than any other gun I have ever shot. I've shot it so freaking much. I'm familiar with every aspect of it. Um, I've shot it to the point of failure. Um, the first time it, it, I've shot it and, and it went out, I've uh, pretty much, there was no rifling in the barrel. Completely gone okay and that was an original um russian barrel that was in there it was it had the serial number and marked on it with the receiver and everything else and the the bolt carrier what have you and now that i know what i know now those things are fucking expensive like eight or nine hundred dollars for original one um i got a blue jack i think uh um barrel put in there and i think it was a one and eight at the time and you had to use, you know, specific ammunition or, or the, the bullets wouldn't exactly keyhole, but they would kind of get a little, you know, swirly there. I melted that barrel down pretty much. I Not melted, but, you know, gobbled a, an ass load of ammo through that. And then the barrel that I have on it now is an original um, Russian. And it costs a lot of money to buy one of these. And I had to look all online for one, but original... 1 in 6.3 crank off AKS 74U barrel back in it. And ever since that was pressed back in, redone up, um, I haven't really hammered on it. But this whole time that I've been going through barrels, um, what I noticed is I never changed out or had the gas block changed out. I had it, you know, um, re repainted or re refinished or whatever, and I kept reusing the same gas block. The gas block is eroded fucking hell really the gas block is uh the porthole it, you know say it's like supposed to be like this well it's like like this now so i haven't really been shooting it that's something i have to i have a brand new uh aks 74u block gas block in my house i just haven't sent it off to get redone and god damn it anyways like i was saying is it's at the point now where it's got you know the barrels good and all that this there and the other but um it's allowed so much gas to go back to the action that the when it recoils it, it's basically been peening the back of the stock trunnion itself so when i first started seeing that happen i completely stopped shooting it and i've been you know it's been a, a, a on my agenda to get you know uh re redone so it's it's still capable of shooting right now. It's just you know I've shot so many rounds through it that I'm surprised that the receiver is still in, in mint condition for as much freaking dog shit I've put it through. You know I mean I've got videos on I think Coke Man's channel or my channel somewhere where I've had it it go down. I have I've had this this booster cherry freaking red. I've I've had the handguards borderline on fire before. Um, matter of fact, I know Iraq Veteran 8888 makes meltdown videos, but in the very beginning, I put the very first meltdown video on YouTube, pretty much. It wasn't like, you know, whatever. It was basically how to bump fire an AK F74U, and that's got millions of views. But, uh, yeah, recommending this gun to somebody, for one, 
you can still get them from like Kvar is the Arsenal SLR 106 or 10. It's the 10 something you are. I think it's the 10, the 106, the 556, the 107, 762, the 105 you are, I think, or the it's the 104 you are, whatever. It's basically the the crank off. But the only problem is, is it's got a one and eight twist barrel. So that's one reason why I haven't just went out and bought a brand new one. Um, because the barrels alone, the original one and six point threes are freaking expensive. Would I recommend this gun to somebody? Uh, if you've had your bases covered, you got all of them, the whole nine yards, you're like an avid gun collector. Now, I'm not going to say gun collector. I'm going to say someone who actually shoots their fucking guns. You got ARs and AKs and everything else, and you, now you want to crank off. Oh, absolutely. Get one, man. They're starting to get harder to find. Get one now while you got a chance, okay? Because there ain't no one sign of a pin somewhere in the political shit. Bye bye, they're gone. You know, Vepper's gone. Sega's gone. You know, freaking uh, Israeli, uh, um, what they call the fucking Galil's gone, the original ones, okay? Like, like all the good shit is just wrote off the other. SVDs, bye-bye, gone, you know? So, yeah, I recommend it to anybody who wants to get one. Basically, the AKS-74U with the wooden hand guards, the Bakelite grip, the Bakelite pistol grip, and, I mean, the, the magazine was Bakelite. Originally, in that original configuration, if you've typed in Osama Bin Laden on Google... And you see him with that freaking, that AKS-74U. The story goes that he freaking captured some Russian colonel somewhere, killed him, and took his AK from him, and that was his little trophy. You know what I'm talking about? So it's a very iconic gun. Now, fitted with this polymer handguard and this, you know, uh, this magazine, this plum, and this Magpul grip or whatever... If I restored it to its original configuration, someone who's not a gun person instantly recognizes it as like that terrorist gun, you know. So, it's just one of those guns. that I've literally shot the fucking piss out of this gun. Many thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds out of this gun and have been happy with it. You know, just like anything, if you shoot it long enough, you're going to have parts breakages. So... One of these in brand new configuration, would I recommend it? Absolutely. That's all I got to say about that.